SME Internationalisation Exchange, or the SAI project, was a five-year initiative funded by the Interreg Europe programme. It aimed to explore the topics of internationalisation and export among small and medium-sized enterprises in Europe. This included focusing on barriers to international trade and looking at the effectiveness of support services provided to companies. The budget of just over 1.2 million euros was split between seven partner organisations. Kent County Council in the UK, Molise Region in Italy, Usti Region in the Czech Republic, NBank Lower Saxony, Germany, Torun Development Agency from Kajowsko Pomorski in Poland, the International Chamber of Commerce for Nouvelle Aquitaine, France, and Cantabria Chamber of Commerce in Spain. Each partner brought together a group of regional stakeholders, public authorities, business support organisations and other relevant colleagues with expertise in internationalisation so that the project would benefit each participating region as much as possible. Each region's local stakeholder group met regularly during the SAI project and members participated in wider project activities, starting with the SAI study visits. We organised seven study visits, one to each partner region to find out about the business support landscape, specific internationalisation support services, challenges faced by businesses and the local stakeholder groups to get a better understanding of the economic context of each region. The visits provided excellent insight for participants and enabled fruitful discussions. We learned that we share many of the same challenges and it was inspiring to see some of the innovative solutions put in place to help companies in each region to develop internationally. Thanks to the study visits, the partners identified some excellent examples of good practice for internationalisation support, including the one-stop shop approach of the Kent International Business Programme, bringing together all of the export support organisations and programmes in Kent, Molise Region's Go and Come Back project, which helped young people to develop international business skills through work placements abroad, and then encourage them to apply that knowledge locally to set up new export businesses. Usti Region Zartec Hop Cooperative, which provides central international marketing and connection services to help the many small growers export their products internationally. Lower Saxony's International Office Network, providing in-market expertise and knowledge for a range of priority export countries. Tarun's Clustering for Internationalisation programme to help companies work together to bid for export contracts. Nouvelle Aquitaine's detailed Parcours de l'Export or Export Pathway programme which provides a range of services from different organisations to help businesses with all parts of their export journey. And Cantabria's Export Consortia programme which brings together small groups of companies to focus on international contracts. And you can visit the SAI website to view our series of case study videos. Each partner region also carried out a piece of research work to capture the latest information from local companies about internationalisation and the effectiveness of the support services available to them. We then commissioned a comparative study which brought together the findings of the regional research and confirmed that a number of elements are common across the whole SAI partner area. The EU is by far the biggest export market for companies in all regions. Companies from all regions share concern about the impact of Brexit and how other global events can affect their ability to trade successfully. Companies lacked international resources and access to specialist knowledge about export markets. And there'd been, across the board, a fairly low engagement with support mechanisms and often some confusion among businesses about how the services offered were different, where there were overlaps between national and regional services, for example. But on the other hand, the study highlighted the importance of innovation, access to specialist information and advice, and the right support to help boost internationalisation. And you can visit the SAI website to download all of the regional studies. At the end of phase one, we organised two policy improvement workshops to enable partners and their local stakeholder groups to review the findings of the regional and comparative study work, what had been learned during the study visits, and the good practice examples that were identified in each region. The evidence base gathered through the SAI project then led to seven regional action plans which aim to improve SME internationalisation policies and programmes in the partner areas, including influencing regional ERDF activities. 
The partners, along with their stakeholder groups, have been overseeing the implementation of these plans in their own regions, which aim to make changes to existing internationalisation support programmes, as well as testing and implementing new approaches to help companies to export. Despite some unexpected delays caused by the global COVID pandemic, the action plans are beginning to make a difference on the ground in the different side partner regions. And to summarise, the project has been a fantastic opportunity to improve the way European SMEs are assisted with internationalisation. Each partner region has benefited significantly from participating in the SAI project and the partners hope to keep in touch and find new ways of cooperating in the future.